Hello everyone. Uh, I hope everyone has started taking the online classes and I felt that there was a problem with entering of attendance. Uh, when we downloaded the file from MS Teams, uh, it was providing the format, providing it in a format that was uh, not only difficult for us to you know, uh, check out, but entering the attendance of each and every student was also a bit difficult. Uh, recently, I was able to solve that problem and a couple of copy pastes, if you are able to do, you will know, easily be able to generate the attendance and uh, you now paste it. So let me show you how to do that. So the data that we download from MS Teams, uh, it looks somewhat like this. Uh, just forget about the black background, I'll keep it so that my eyes don't get strained. So the data is present only in the first three columns, the A, B and C. So what you just have to do is you have to select the three columns, right click, click on copy and there is a file that I have created, uh, yeah this one. In this file you just have to click here and click on paste. You can also go to paste special and paste values only. So what it will does is the data which is present in the first three columns of the downloaded file will be placed here in these three columns. Fine. And uh, not, uh, yeah, doesn't matter how long it is. Uh, I have just created, uh, I have just put in some formula around here, which will you know do some automatic calculations. You don't have to really touch that. And when you go to get the attendance, the attendance of the students will be automatically generated over here. Fine. So you can uh, not only see the name of the students and uh, uh, how many times they entered and left the meeting and taking this data we have also created you know uh, attendance of the students if they were present it will appear as one if they are absent it will appear as zero let's let me just uh, go to the previous data that we had and uh, see uh, the, i have copy pasted the uh, attendance sheet the data from the attendance sheet from my, one of my classes and uh, when I go to get the attendance, the names of all the students it appears here uh, with how many times they entered and left. So from this data, I have just uh, uh, converted this into present and absent kind of data. Of course, the names of the faculties who are, who are entering in the beginning or at the end, uh, they are also appearing here. We just want the data of students. So if uh, the student has not at all entered the class, that means it will appear as zero and he will be marked as absent over here. So I'll just copy the data from the starting row number that is 47 to the last row number that is 74. You just have to copy it. If you know the shortcut for this, it is just control C and after copying this data, you can directly go to this point here and I just have to paste it. So you can see here that uh, I have placed the names and roll numbers of the students in the same order and uh, the data that we get from here will also be in the same order fine uh, except for the starting and ending few names which are for the faculties the names the roll numbers are going to appear in the same order that we have around here so we just need to go to our subject uh, what time our subject we have taken the class and in the first column we just have to paste it so i suggest doing paste special and paste values only and that's it. All the attendance, all our attendance has been entered here automatically. You don't have to go searching and looking for individual names to check out how the data appears. And uh, if all the data for one week is entered here, uh, the segregation of that data will appear here. How many classes the student was present and what, what was the percentage of uh, classes that he attended. All that data will be you know, created automatically. You can also see some the data about each particular class. If uh, the student was present, in, I mean, if the number of students present in one class were much higher than the number which were present in some other class, we can just uh, try to take some you know corrective action. We can uh, try to call the student and try to ask what is the reason because of which he is not attending classes on a regular basis. And such data, you know, it will be very helpful for us to get in touch with the students and try to resolve their problems in a much better way. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, those of you who really want these formats, they can uh, message me on WhatsApp and I will provide you with a copy of this so that uh, you can start entering that in this fashion. Thank you and
Good night.